Hello there everybody, it is me Fizer Bunny, and welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to show you guys a quick little tutorial on how to make your own custom aquarium setup in The Sims 4. So in order for this technique to work exactly how I'm about to show you guys, you'd first need to download one piece of custom content and that is the Studio Effect Player by Andrew Studio. You can download this mod for free on his website and basically just click down download um, and install it the way you would normally install any other piece of custom content and you are pretty much good to go. Also don't forget to click on this other link right here and it'll give you a list of all the other effects which we will be needing in the future. So once you've had the mod installed it should show up in your buy catalog under the custom content filter and it's this one. It's the orange looking plum bob. If it's not showing up try checking um, if you have your show custom content enabled in the game options. Just make sure you have that activated for all the custom content items to show up. But now would actually be a really good time to activate the move objects cheat by typing in the bb.move objects cheat and this is going to be really helpful for this technique. Um, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to place a couple of the studio effect players. Basically each one of these effect players is going to be one fish. So each one of this is going to spawn one fish animation. So um, you can actually have as many of these as you want. Another thing that I would do is I will raise these up slightly because sometimes some of the fish spawn underground and you wouldn't be able to see them so I'm just gonna raise them up a little bit it doesn't really matter how high um, just to make sure that we have um, a clear visibility for all of our fish that we will be spawning um, and notice that I have five of these I want four fish we have one extra one because I'm gonna go ahead and drag this one extra one to our sims inventory because that will be very very useful in the future so if you click on one of these, you will have a couple of interactions. What we actually want to focus on right now would be the select effect interaction. So remember the link that we opened up earlier? It's going to contain a list of all of the effects that we can use for this effect player. And basically what we need to focus on is just this one effect, which has a base code of EP04 underscore aquarium underscore underscore pets, underscore name of fish, and underscore numbers one to six. So right off the bat, I'm just going to go ahead and copy. It doesn't really matter whichever one you can copy because you can um, change this once we are in game. So once we're back in game, all we have to do is paste the code that we just copied, click on check, and click on this effect player icon and replay effect, and it's automatically going to spawn a better fish for us swimming in mid-air minding its own business and basically you can have as many fish as you want just by repeating the same exact technique that we just did you can have as many fish in your fish tanks now I know this is a little bit redundant because these fish have the exact same animation but don't worry we actually have the option of having different animations for different fish so in case you guys haven't noticed um, the code that we pasted right here has a number at the end now you can change this number to any value between 1 and 6 and each number represents a different animation so for example if we say 2 and replay all effects then this one has a brand new effect so i feel like i would like to have a couple more fish for our fish tank so i'm gonna go ahead and paste the exact same code that we copied but i'm gonna change the word beta to angel because that is the code for angel fish i'm gonna click on replay all and there we go we have just spawned ourselves an angel fish and once again we can change this number right here to any value between 1 and 6 and it is going to give us a different animation. So now that we have a bunch of fish swimming in midair, I think it is time to actually build a place where this fish can inhabit because having them swim in midair is just too unrealistic. So we're going to go ahead and build ourselves a fish tank. So this is just pretty straightforward. Just build a nice square room. Um, plop in a swimming pool on top of it, 
um, throw in a couple of glass windows and just drag in your fish. Um, before we do that though, I think this fish tank could use some decoration, starting with some new wallpaper. I really, really like using these wallpapers that come with Spa Day. I think they look really good. I think they look exactly like the backdrop that we normally see in fish tanks. Um, the game also has these like sandy gravelly floor tiles that we can use as well so I thought that that looked really good for this fish tank and another technique that I really enjoy using is actually using these surfaces now these are actually tables but they work really well as kind of like backdrops like rocky looking backdrops for our fish tank so I'm just gonna throw in a couple of you know rock formations right here you can get creative with all these rock formations i'm kind of just um you know picking up the pace here because i don't want this video to take too too long um but basically that's like you know a nice little rock formation you know for the backdrop for our fish you can be creative by hiding these like extra pieces that go outside nothing too too crazy but i think this would be a good time to actually activate another cheat hey guys so before any of that make sure to activate testing cheats by typing in testing cheats on before typing in bb dot show hidden objects okay bb dot show hidden objects cheat which will actually unlock a lot of the items that are normally inaccessible for regular players like us so we can go ahead and filter the content and show only debug and this will show you a lot of items that are normally inaccessible in builds by mode and we can use these as extra decorations for our fish tanks i really like using these like metals and gemstones right here because they remind me so much of like corals and yeah, we're just gonna place a couple of those. And another really interesting thing that gets unlocked once you've entered and activated the show hidden object sheet are actually new plants that are exclusive to the worlds of Six Sim, the alien worlds that came with the Sims 4 get to work. So there's a couple of like really exotic and like really like alien looking plants that I feel like work really well underwater so i'm gonna go ahead and throw in a couple of these like these roots are so nice they're so beautiful um you can only see this in the world of sixum now please bear in mind that some of these actually don't show up um in your fish tanks um like these ones for example these look like seaweed that you would normally see in the ocean i thought that they would make perfect um, decorations inside the fish tank but when you actually drag them in the windows don't show them so when you look at them from the window they don't show up so i don't really see much of a purpose in using these ones in particular which is kind of a shame because i really like the look of those and i think one finishing touches that our fish tank needs are actually aquarium bubbles um which we can actually do um, either by triggering bubble effects from the effect player or we can um, actually utilize some of the items that we already have in game. These came with the Sims 4 get together and these are like bubble jets or like bubble vents that you can put um, in natural pools. And then I think once we've done that, it's just a matter of putting the fish inside of our fish tank we can raise them up a little bit just to make them look a little bit more spread out like so um maybe this one can go and inhabit like the area underneath this like little mushroom thing and then we can go back and go back into live mode because i want to teach you guys one last important thing and that is to actually deactivate these effect players right here because obviously having them there looks really weird we don't want to see them and that is the purpose of having the effect player in our sims inventory because we can just click on this and we can choose this option to hide the others 
and that's gonna hide the effect players that are very unsightly to our aquarium. If you want to edit the fish, like if you want to edit their position or anything, you can go ahead and um, show all. Click on that option and you can actually move the fish as well. Like this one, for example, it's swimming out of the aquarium. It's escaping. So I'm going to drag, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to grab the player that it's attached to and I'm going to drag it a little bit inside the aquarium just to make it look a little bit more natural. Okay, so um, once again, just um, hide all of them by clicking on the effect player that we have in our inventory. One last thing is that by default, every time a sim leaves a lot, the effect players will be turned off. So in order to trigger them, once again, you just have to click on this effect player in your inventory and replay all and that should trigger all of the effects to show up once again but yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick little tutorial hopefully you guys learned something and if you're planning to recreate your own aquariums in the sims 4 please feel free to reach out to me on my social media because i would love to see your creations and if you have any suggestions on you know any other tutorials that i can make please feel free to let me know down in the comments below and i will see what i can do about it so that is going to be it for this quick little tutorial on how to make your own custom aquarium setup on the sims 4 thank you guys so so much for watching you all have an awesome 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 day and i will see you guys next time bye bye